Hello, this is uh, Bill Wienheis. I'm from per Perceptive Pixel, and today we're introducing our 27-inch touch panel technology. The power of this is this is a collaborative application. So these sessions can be shared with multiple touch-enabled devices. So in this case, these are some architectural assets. I can come in here and maybe look at some types of industrial design assets. The nice thing is just so intuitive just be able to you know, drop and drag with your finger, interact, scale, you can rotate, it just seems a natural extension of the finger. So what what unlimited multi-touch gives you is this ability to support in number of, and in this case a limited number of fingers, touching and manipulating the object. And that's important in a collaborative session because if I may be working in this domain, somebody else may be moving this other secondary picture in another location. So it's important that we have that functionality to be able to support unlimited touch capability. One of the unique things about Perceptive Pixel is our experience and our quality of touch is much higher than anyone else in the industry. And we do that for a couple of reasons. It's one of the things is there are some limitations of Windows today in that it's really, they support sort of an OR technology. It's you get touch or you get gesture capability or you get a stylus or pen. You don't get them all concurrently. One of the high value aspects of Perceptive Pixel is they give you the ability to touch and do annotations all at the same time. So that's a critical value. The other aspect though is we do things a little bit differently in terms of we allow you to do things like palm rejection. So I can place my palm actually on the screen, which makes it more intuitive from a workflow perspective. And I could actually highlight things, rotate them with my other hand concurrently, and I'll maintain my palm on the screen. And that's really a critical aspect to be able to interact uh, with your material, either from a sketch form or like in this case, an, an annotation form. So in this, uh, this particular document, sort of a hard document in terms of it's a PDF. And I have a very natural ability to just scroll through pages and stuff like that. I could read the document. But one of the nice things you can come in here is, is you can highlight, you know, you know, maybe for review and annotation. So we support imagery, we support documentation imagery, we also support videos, and in this particular case, this is, a, this is more of a mapping construct. So in folks, say, in the um, construction industry, they might be able to find some applicability. Say they're going to do a site review for upgrade of a, a some type of a construction or some type of an environment. So we're looking in, trying to find, like, say I want Capistrano or something here. But, Let's say like if you were gonna you were an architectural firm and you're coming in here and you need to annotate things, right? You can come in and find an area and you can say, you know, you know, you know, new road, right, or something you're gonna do, right? So it gives you the ability to review a construction site or a potential site and be able to annotate it. And long term applications will also be able to support the ability to look back at that data and revision it and control it. So that's a variable, very powerful construct. But the real true value is the ability to make the panel a natural extension of your fingers, right? And really be able to support, you know, markup, manipulation, and the archiving of the data for future purposes.